Today I'm gonna to share with you some of my top skincare and one hair care hack that I think will take your game to the next level. These are things that I do all of the time. Some of them are actually straight from the treatment room that are little tips that I think everybody should have in the back of their skincare arsenal in their brain. There are things that will save you money on this list and there are things that will just take your skincare game to the next level. I have a tip that I think will improve our skin on our neck and it is free and it is just a matter of changing things up just a little bit. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with, oh, let's start with that hack. The first hack is in order to get a little bit better skincare on our neck, we are gonna flip the way that we put our skincare on. I've been doing this for a little while and I do feel like it's making a very, very big difference in the way that my neck looks on the regular. All it is, is instead of starting your skincare on your face, you're gonna start your skincare on your neck. You are literally gonna start at your collarbone area and move up instead of the reverse. I know that that sounds super duper simple, but try it for a month and see how your neck looks. Because here's the deal. We we put our skincare on our face and if you're anything like me, let me know if this is how you normally do it. We feather it down our neck and onto our decollete. By the time we're to our collarbone and certainly below that, we're feathering on the leftover little bits of skincare. There isn't a lot left and most of us aren't adding more skincare and then really getting that area well. We're just filtering it down till we get down there and then that's it, we're good. Well, there's no doubt that the skin by about here down isn't really getting an adequate amount of skincare. So if you start your skincare, at least at your collarbone, Bone. If you want to start on your decollete, even better, but at least on your collarbone, you're going to get this crucial area first. Trust me, as somebody who's almost 51, this area right here starts to go, and I think it's because it gets hit by the sun, and also it's neglected by skincare. It's just kind of in this no man's land. Start there at least, so that that area gets the full attention of your skincare and move up. Because I promise you, if you get to your mid face, and you're running out of skincare, you feel like it's starting to like, you don't have enough to finish, you will add more because it's your face. You will do that. We just don't do that down here. So just flip the script. Start here and move up instead of the reverse. The next tip is a hair tip. If you are somebody who likes to use dry shampoo, but sometimes you notice a white residue, sometimes it just doesn't work as well, sometimes you don't have time for it, Try doing your dry shampoo the night before. This is something that I forget and every time I do it, I wake up the next day and I'm like, my hair looks so much better. It smells better, it looks great, it feels fresh, and it's all because I put the dry shampoo on the night before and it had all night long to do its job and I wake up with really great hair. Now the important thing is that you put this dry shampoo on and you hold it six to eight inches from your roots, you do your mohawk section, you do the perimeter, and I always like to do underneath here, anywhere that you notice that your hair might look a little dirty or greasy or anything like that, then you do nothing else to it that night. So you don't put a brush in it, you don't put your fingers in it, nothing, you just go to bed. When you wake up the next morning, which you hopefully would have at least gotten six hours of sleep, at least, then you can go ahead and brush through your hair, etc. Usually I wake up and I can't see any powder residue. It sat in my hair and absorbed excess oil and that kind of thing. And my hair looks and smells and feels amazing. So try flipping your dry shampoo to at night and see how that works for you. The next tip is going to be on finding affordable alternatives or dupes. Now I'm gonna give you two websites. Some of you have already heard of this. You know you're, in, you're savvy and this is gonna be old news. But I know that there's a bunch of you out there that don't know about these websites and I think they're invaluable for us in this skincare community. The first one is called Skin School. Now Skin School is a huge database of skincare and what happens is when you go in and you search for a product, 
you will find other products that are like that product. And it will kind of give you sort of a ranking of how much like that product these other products are. So it's a really great way to kind of start a search for an affordable alternative. Now, sometimes there isn't one. Sometimes you're just shown things that are sort of like it, but you can tell it's not completely like it. But what it will do is it really helps you investigate your skincare. It is just a wonderful tool to have to start you on the path for looking for affordable alternatives or learning about your skincare. I really, really love that website. I've shared about it over on Instagram many, many, many times, but I thought it was worth sharing in a YouTube video because it's really one of those websites that's a great, great tool if you are somebody who loves skincare. Now, a second website that I think is really great to know about if you're a skincare junkie like me is Inky Decoder. Now, Inky Decoder is a really fantastic website for learning about about ingredients and also deep diving ingredients and kind of learning how to look for products that maybe contain an ingredient that you're interested in, learning specifics about an ingredient, comparing two products to one another by their ingredient deck. And of course, we all know that the ingredient deck isn't everything. It's just a piece of information, but it's a really valuable piece of information if you are on the hunt for skincare. So if you combine using Skin School as a website with Inky Decoder as a website, you can really arm yourself with some great information about the skincare that you own, the skincare that you're looking into, the skincare that maybe you wanna invest invest in, but you want to learn about it first. These are two websites that I can highly recommend for learning more about your skincare and learning about ingredients. I think the more we know, the better we will do. All right, this tip is straight out of the treatment room. If you ever find yourself needing to extract a blackhead or a whitehead, traditionally estheticians would tell people if they had to do that, to wrap their fingers in like a cotton or a two by two or something like that and gently go in. That is still a recommendation. It's certainly better than using like your fingers or your fingernails without any kind of padding. But what I'm gonna recommend to you is something that we actually do as estheticians in the treatment room is we use wooden Q-tips. Now, what does that mean? Wooden Q-tips are simply Q-tips, but this part in the middle is wood. And why that is important is that gives a lot more leverage than traditional Q-tips that might bend or just don't have, they have give to them. Wooden Q-tips don't have any give. This is especially helpful if you happen to have maybe a teenager who gets blackheads in their ear. It's impossible to get in there and help them without using like fingernails. And that is a huge no-no, not to mention it hurts. So that is something that you do not want to do. Well, wooden Q-tips are the way that you can easily get into smaller spaces and do some extractions. Now, of course, it's important to do things like desencrust and soften up the skin and all of those things if you need to do that in order to do extractions. But if you just have a plain old whitehead that's already white that you want to extract, Wooden Q-tips are a great way to gently do that without causing undue or unnecessary trauma to the skin. So wooden Q-tips, huge tip from the treatment room. All right, this is a money-saving tip. If you are somebody who uses a chemical exfoliant, we are gonna change the way that we apply it to our skin in order to save some money. Now, I use Biologique Recherche P50. I've been using that for a while now, and I do often use it on a cotton pad out of habit. But the reality is you don't have to use a cotton pad cotton round. You don't have to use something that's going to absorb a bunch of the product. The cotton round pad, etc., is simply just a vehicle for applying the product to our face. It isn't supposed to be the thing that's actually exfoliating our skin. Now, like I said, I know I have used a cotton round or a cotton pad plenty here on this channel and everything, but if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, you can actually apply your alpha hydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acid, poly hydroxy acid to the palm of your hand. You don't need a lot and you can apply it directly to your skin. Now, the reason why that works just as well as using a cotton pad is that the exfoliation actually comes from the actual chemical 
breaking the bonds between the dead skin so that they're able to lift off the next time you wash your face, etc. So it isn't the cotton, it's the product. And we don't really need the cotton most of the time. If you enjoy using the cotton and you don't care that it sucks up some of your product, then fine. But tip number two that is similar to that is if you are traveling, you can eliminate the cotton, carry a much smaller amount, which is what I do, and not worry about running out, not worry about overpacking, and simply just use your hands. You will get the same results from the exfoliation. It will go a lot farther and you'll save yourself some money. All right, my last tip for today is for those of you who use the zip. Now, I want to share this tip with you because it is something that I am doing really, really regularly and I'm noticing that people in my Facebook group are also doing this really regularly and they're getting fantastic results and I just want to shout it from the rooftops because I think it's a wonderful treatment that is free on the Zip app. It is the lip treatment. Now, I did a whole video when they launched the lip program on the app, but I want to come back and let you know that since then, People in my Facebook group are starting to post about their long-term results with their lips from doing that program. And I know that it's something that I do several times a week and I really honestly try to do it almost every day, but sometimes I just get out of, I, I will end up accidentally going too far in my skincare routine and I can't go back and put conductivity gel on. I'm like, oh, dang it. I'm sure you do that sometimes too. So basically I try to do that Zip Lips program as often every week as I can because I know that what is happening is it is encouraging circulation to come to my lips. That is going to help not only in the moment make my lips look a little bit better, but it's gonna help with the long-term health of my lips so that they are just healthier and hopefully will look better longer. This is definitely an area that I'm starting to really notice my age and I'm gonna do everything that I can before I go in with big guns and do something, you know, hardcore. I am actually gonna be doing a video on lips here very soon where I talk about the things that we can do that are basically cheap or free to the in-office things that we can do all the way to surgery. I'm going to cover all of that in a lip video. So if you have any questions or you have anything you want me to cover, definitely comment down below because that video is coming. But I wanna share with you just a couple things. One is one of the people in my Facebook group so kindly said that we could use her before and afters in a video. And basically she's been doing the lip program for a few months and she is finding that she is getting results that are staying. And I think that that is just such amazing anecdotal evidence for a program that is two minutes long. So what is happening when you're doing the Zip Lips program is that it's encouraging circulation to come to your lips. And it's really cool because when I did do my video on Zip Lips, I used my reveal camera to see what was really going on underneath. Now the reveal camera shows us blood and it shows us pigment and you can isolate either one of those. So what I did was I took a before picture and only looked at blood and then I did the Zip Lips program a couple times. I don't know, I did it either two or three times and then I took an after and I'll pop that picture up here. You can clearly see that before I just had less blood flow in my lip area. They were obviously just less plumped up with blood and that means less nutrients, oxygen, all of the good stuff, right? So after you can see there's just a lot more blood in my lips and that is going to feed them good stuff so that they can do all the things that they're supposed to do. So that hopefully we're encouraging collagen production, elastin, hopefully we are encouraging hyaluronic acid, all the good stuff that bringing nutrients, oxygen, et cetera, it helps facilitate the natural processes that go on. So for me, the evidence is there. It's clear. I could see under my skin what was actually going on and now I have additional reinforcing anecdotal evidence from people in my Facebook group. So this is a tip that I have that if you own that zip, look through the app. There are quick programs that you can do that really legitimately work and are amazing for our routine. And you want to be as consistent as possible because that is the way you see results that stick around. All right, you guys, those are my best tips for right now, I have a huge list and I will share part two, part three, part four. There'll be several. I would love it if you would share some of your best tips in the comment section. I know that so many of you have some really amazing tips and that is so helpful for the group. I hope that you are having the most amazing day and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.